Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, I've not been shy about the fact that pre-2020, I hadn't really understood the whole pocket organisation. And it, it just, uh, for me, it was just a, psh, why? It's all in your pocket, it's organised, it's in there. But there was a penny drop moment for me and you know, it, it certainly changed the way in which I organise my right pocket. I always keep my mobile phone in my left, keep my uh, wallet in the back and my right pocket is where I, I keep most of my loose kind of EDC items. Um, and I'd been talking to the team at uh, Jackal Medical, so this, this has been sent to me today by Jack, Jackal Medical. I definitely recommend checking them out. Um, it's actually one of the only places that you can get these in the UK. Um, and that is we are here today to look at the Vanquest Pocket Quiver. So this is a very simple, um, very well constructed, but very simple pocket organiser. Um, over the last two or three months, you know, we've looked at what Maxpedition do for their organisation. Um, another Vanquest organiser where, you know, it's, it's a proper pouch. Whereas this, this is just for those kind of minimal items that you just want to grab something, get something so that you could organise it, throw it in your pocket and just get out and smash your day. Um, so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around while I'm doing that. Um, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like, subscribe and share button. That would be amazing. But for now, let's take a closer look at the Vanquest Pocket Quiver. Okay, <laughs> usual thing. I've turned the camera around. The wind's picked up a little bit. So I do apologise in advance if you can hear any of the wind in the background. Um, I'm just going to take these out for a second. So. As we usually do, we'll have a look at some of the measurements, some of the materials, and then exactly how this works. Now, I do have to state at this point, so this is, uh, how long have I had this? I think I picked this up just before Christmas, or this was sent to me just before Christmas. So what you'll notice is that this is definitely worn. I, I like to make sure that, I, you know, I thoroughly test things before um, I, I make some content or give you my opinions on them. Um, so when it, when it first arrived, you'll, it will be completely flat. Um, but having put things in here and the way that it works, you'll find that after a while that it will just start to mould itself around um, the things that you put into it. Now with the materials that are in this, um, it's slightly different. I, I, I'm, I'm skipping ahead, but okay, let's go through the measurements first. So the measurements come in, as this is an American product, I thought I'd give it in inches today. It comes in at 4.25 inches by 3.25 inches. Now, um, that's not including this piece of elastic here on the side. If you include this elastic here on the side, it comes in at 3.9 inches. It's incredibly light as well with the materials that we'll have a look at the second. But really, if you're concerned about this adding additional weight or additional mass when it's in your pocket, you really don't need to worry about that. It comes in at 0.8 ounces. The construction of this is made from mainly three materials. So here on the uh, the left hand side, you're able to see that we've actually got some incredibly rugged um, and strong elastic. So very similar to the elastic that um, Vanquest use in their backpacks that they use in their um, organizers. Um, it's exactly the same. So very, very tough mill spec kind of uh, elastic here on the side that you can pass things through and it will hold on to those. Here on the front, the material that you can see here, this cloth material is 500D Cordura. So especially around the edges here, you're gonna be pushing things into this and this is where you'll get the most abrasion. Um, so having a really good, strong for them, for Vanquest to choose to go with the 500D on this, it will certainly make sure that you get a long, lot of longevity out of it. Not gonna lie, they could have gone up to the 1000. I know Vanquest do have plenty of 1000D Cordura in their stock. It would just mean extra longevity. However, having tested this now, and it's pretty much been in my pocket for the last three or four, well, since before Christmas, um, there's generally no sign of wear at all. Uh, there's a bit of a smudge here. I, I got some candle wax on it and it, 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 I'm struggling to get it out, but you know, it's 
candle wax it's not easy to get out either <laughs> either way is it um, then here on the back there are two layers um, of this uh, hypalon material so hypalon material hypalon is a um a, a resiny plasticky style material um, if you've ever seen the uh, breaching boats that like the SAS use um, this is this is the type of material that those dinghies are made from um, it's ridiculously strong and ridiculously tough you can see the fibers um, just coming out from the outside of it here um, you do get a little bit of this so within the hyplon there are these fibers to make sure that it stays nice and tough um, you do get a bit coming out from the side but i think that's just one of the characters of hyplon but you have you have this one large piece that that covers the the, the whole part of it and then there is another piece here that you can slip things into and if i get this just in the light hopefully you'll be able to see um, that there is a, a, a vanquest logo here on the back it's very very nice it's very subtle um, it doesn't it's not one of these kind of logos that screams out hey look at me um, I think it's actually perfect for uh, for this pocket quiver um, all of the stitching the stitching uses um, very strong high tensile nylon stitching all the way through the back uh, and through the front here as well and then there is also a small uh, eye loop here just in case you wanted to maybe I don't know, maybe put um, put sort of put a lanyard on this, or if it is something that you use on a regular basis, maybe you might have a um, a key or something that you can attach to there as well. Now, if you've not worked it out already, hopefully you probably will have, but what you have is you have two pockets here that you can put something into, and then there is also this additional one here on the side for pens and flashlights. On the back, now, I don't really use this that much, but maybe if you had... Um, a card or something that you use on a regular basis I suppose this would be good for something like an ID card that you may that you have to use regularly to maybe clock yourself into a building or something like that then maybe that would be useful to have that slid down the back or if you like to go ultra minimalist you could have your ID card here in the back sorry the the microphone just knocked then so again apologize apologies if you can if you're picking up that wind noise um, but small notebooks all little things like that you can you can fit here on the side or at least in the back sorry now I've got a couple of different not necessarily setups but a, a few different ways that you can that you could use this so here I have my bastion pen which fits perfectly here down the side it's a little on the long side so I generally have it poking up just ever so slightly so that this doesn't kind of dig into your pocket maybe then you want to go for a, a, a nice um, knife so this is the SOG Terminus XR the reason that I've got this one here is this is to show you the kind of the maximum size that you can get in here so it does fit roughly kind of down to the bottom but the uh, the pin here on, on the blade does stop it from pushing all of the way in um, I think if this was your everyday knife after a while um, you'd probably find that the um, that the cord cordora would would give just a little bit so that you can push that in um, and then maybe i don't know you you like to carry a pry bar tool so this is my gun deck uh, edc pry titanium pry tool and it fits in there with all that kind of gray theme it looks really nice um, but maybe i don't know maybe you've got a different carry so maybe you like to go all with the same color uh, so here we have my uh, all black spartan maybe we could put a flashlight down the side so this is the uh, this is the olight i3t plus um, because this side bit is designed mainly to put pens down if you have a pen style flashlight it fits perfectly in there because we've already got a flashlight maybe we might want to carry uh, a clipper steel clipper pocket um, lighter in there you could you could certainly have it like that maybe you want to switch it up a little bit more you could easily put in uh, a flashlight here on this side so that is the i5t and then maybe drop in a pen now i find with these fisher bullet pens that they are it's it's a little baggy um in there now that's not because i've had wide things particularly in here that stretched it out 
but it, it really it's designed for something a little bit wider than these but when it's in your pocket you certainly don't find that this pulls out or it, it falls out but instead maybe you might want to go for one of these Kershaw um, Kershaw sorry I've got the name wrong in there for a second uh, Quarko um, sports these fit in really really nice and it, it, it grips that very well um, or one, one of the other things that does work really well in these are uh, so these BIC 4 colours um, you can now get a shorter version of the original BIC 4 colour um, and again that just slips into there maybe you want to go full kind of um, full multi-tool for the day you could throw in um, a Victorinox uh, Pioneer and then maybe a SOG Snippet which also fits in so that it goes over there as well. You've got a lot of options that you can do with this and really you're only limited by your own imagination of what you can fit in. Well, I mean, you're limited in a way that you probably couldn't fit two of those in that one side, but hopefully you, you get what I meant there, didn't you? Now, as I say, <laughs> I never really understood the value of these, mainly because you just put your stuff in your pocket anyway. Why? It, it's it's there. You need it. It's there. But everything lies flat, and they lie flat on top of each other. And just being able to have something that you can grab and know exactly where everything is, I've certainly love learned and loved <laughs> to to appreciate just how valuable these are. On the value side, uh, here in the UK, I think these are about, I want to say about 12, 13, 14 pounds, not particularly expensive. So they are very budget friendly if you're wanting to pick one of these up. As I mentioned at the beginning of this, you know, this was sent to me um, from uh, Jackal Medical, so definitely check, check them out. But I think for pocket organization, something that is nice and simple and is certainly very well made um, the vanquest pocket quiver is definitely a great addition that you can add to your pocket now i'll leave all of those links below so that you can see more from uh, jackal medical i'll leave some of their social media links as well i'll leave some of my social media links as well uh, if you want to follow me on instagram at morelander underscore edc it's generally where you'll see all of the bits that you know i'm testing out and um, you get to see what's headed towards the channel in the future as well. Uh, but for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. And that was a really loud car. You probably heard that. Cars. Who'd have them? You'd have them. Because you need to drive places. Yes. Old.